This is the second Nixie clock that I've built. Uh, this one was made from a board salvaged from some unknown piece of 1970s equipment. And we'll turn on the display with the switch. Right now it's just, just plugged it in, so it's set to 12 midnight, January 1st, 2000. And you can cycle it cycles, and you see it's set to January 1st, and which means we should probably set it. So we hold down the left button here, and now we can set the time. Let's see, it's currently 1:08. So let's just advance the hours with the right button. 12:13, and now set the minute to eight. Eight. Press the left button again to confirm. And now we set the date by holding down the right button. And we set the month. It's September 22nd. And advance again. We set the year. It's 2009. And the day, today is Tuesday, so two for Tuesday, and there we go. Now the, uh, the date is displayed twice every minute with a little cycling, scrambling animation like that, and it shows the date for a few seconds, and then it cycles back, and uh, that's, that's basically it. it uh, the reason I have the year and the day programmed is that it... Um, it has a programmed schedule, so it can automatically turn the tubes off at various times on various days to uh, to save the lifetime of the tubes to conserve them, um, and uh, it's working pretty well. I've uh, had it running for about a month now, and uh, the tubes I got on eBay they were fairly cheap. They're uh, National 8421 models, fairly standard tube, about uh, an inch high or so, um, and yeah, there's a date stamped on the board, I forget where it is, um, it's down there, it's really faint, but it says, uh, December 20th, 1971, so these are genuine 74141 decoder chips, old, you know, exposed circuit traces and everything, and behind it, I've added a proto board, um, a perf board, I'm sorry, with the controls and, the, and a microcontroller and a real-time clock chip. So all the timekeeping is done with modern hardware, but the actual display board here in the front is about 40 years old.